Hello, I'm delighted to meet you again. We'll learn how to make this baby duck that I created for Matthias, my newly born grandnephew. Here's the step by step. We'll begin by making a cake that's suitable for carving. The first thing is to put it on a piece of cardboard lined with aluminum foil. And of course, if you wish, you can have a filling in your cake. What we'll do is to turn the cake upside down and in that way we can carve the bottom. And that's how you get a beautiful life saver shape. If we don't do it like this, it'll be difficult to have a nicely rounded shape. Then we start trimming it. It's always better to take a little off at a time. When we finish trimming one side, we make the angles more rounded. Let's go around again a little bit. And we check how it looks. If we like it, we turn it over again and leave the top of the cake as it should be. I'm already happy with the shape. I replace the aluminum foil, turn the cake over again, and you see, it's really nice and round. But if you need to, you can go on trimming and rotating it. Never mind if you don't have a turntable like this one. A plate will do just as well. And now we get rid of the cardboard and carve the top. You should always put a piece of paper on the table so that everything falls on it. There are many uses for all the cake we leave out. What can we make? Truffles, for example. You crumble the dough, mix it with dulce de leche or caramel cream, as it's also called, bathe it in chocolate, and you get beautiful truffles. Never throw away those bits. That's why it's so important to have the paper on the table, to save all the cake scraps. We keep making the edges round with a knife. This is a small curved chicken boning knife, but you can use a serrated knife or any sharp knife you may have at hand. And now we go on. This is the top of the lifesaver. We're going to make a cut at the center and press down a bit to give it the lifesaver's round shape. What we're going to do then is brush it with dulce de leche, which is also the filling for my cake, and then cover it with fondant. Or you can use any jam first and then cover it. We make the central cavity a bit deeper. The lifesaver's hole has to be small so that the little duck appears to be caught in the lifesaver. Okay? And now we clean, we clear up all this and go on to cover the cake. We roll out the fondant over cornstarch. We're going to cover the lifesaver. And now we're going to brush it. I've done it with dulce de leche, but you know, any jam will do. You see, it's only so that it will stick. We can have more of a curve if we lift the paste a little bit, then press it inwards, and little by little, it will fall into shape. Keep in mind that before you cut it, you have to guide the paste well against the sides. Then you cut off the excess with a small sharp knife. If you keep smoothing over the folds, the paste will quickly take the lifesaver's shape. With our hand, we push a bit down the center so as to define the lifesaver's hole. And then with a sharp knife, we trim the edges properly and the cake is nicely covered. We'll cut out the polka dots, which are made from gum paste. It's better to roll the gum paste over hydrogenated vegetable oil. So, in that way, the paste won't be stained. We'll cut circles in different sizes, starting with the tiny ones, which will alternate with the bigger ones, and with some even bigger. 
We have to cut out three different sizes for each one, which will superimpose on each other. There's green, turquoise, and blue, and then red, orange, and yellow. And then we stick them with water. We're going to start making the duck. We make it from roll fondant, yellow colored. We make a ball, let's say a six inch diameter one. Notice it's not perfectly round, and it doesn't matter. We just want it to go in the center of the lifesaver. Then we press down a bit and flatten the ball slightly, so that the dog will seem to be trapped in the lifesaver. Then we're going to take a 4-inch styrofoam ball and cover it with yellow paste. And we'll stick it into the little body. Leave it a little bit loose because before really attaching it, we're going to insert the little neck. We mark. We make a 2-inch diameter ball. I've already modeled it. We stick the duck's little neck with a brochette stick. And then we attach the little head. We still leave it a bit loose because we'll need to place the wing. I'll show you. We move this a bit. How to cut out the wing? You have to make a pattern, and although this is the right wing, the same pattern is good for the other side. We take a scalpel and trim along the edges. This paste is rolled out thick. It's about half an inch thick fondant. Be very careful with this. I'm going to cut out a bit so that you can see. It's very simple. What I'd like you to see is that we'll be making the edges round. And we'll use the scalpel to trim off what doesn't look neat. Here we have a finished one. Once we place the head, we lift it a little bit so we can insert the small wing. If you want to have more of a curve, put a tiny bit of styrofoam underneath until the fondant is dry. Finally, we press the head firmly down and we go on to make the eyes. With a small brush and a bit of water, we moisten the little hole we've made with the ball tool. We're going to place a tiny white paste ball and with the bigger end of the ball tool, we'll make a tiny cavity where we put some water and the little green ball for the iris. We press again to insert a little black ball for the pupil. Once the eyes are ready, we'll deal with the fringe. For the little fringe, we cut out a paste triangle. You can use bigger scissors or a scalpel. And we make two cuts and try to shape the fringe peaks. All has to be rounded at the edges because we have used a thicker paste to make it look better. If it ends up too thick, we trim it off. And then we glue it to the head with water, making it look the way we like. And now it's the turn for the beak. For the beak, we're going to make a little ball, one and three quarters of an inch diameter. We'll flatten one side and then the other. I do it with this finger, but you should really do it with the palms of your hands. I do it like this for you to see. You have to form a sort of triangle on both sides. Now we'll cut a slit just below the center. We'll lift upwards 
and press down in the middle. Once it's facing up like this, we'll make the big shape. We stretch it, also the lower bit, Now, with the ball tool, we press down to mark the corners of the mouth. You can push further down with the modeling tool so as to lift the beak a bit more. And then we'll place it on the little face. Once the beak is finished, we're going to place a tiny triangle of red gum paste with a tiny triangle of pink gum paste on top. We put a toothpick in the center, water behind the beak, and we push it down on the face. Now we'll place a green gum paste ribbon round the neck, about three quarters of an inch wide, and we'll mark some little dots with a modeling tool. The lifesaver goes on a candy plaque, and the candy plaque on a styrofoam base with a ribbon around it. I hope you've liked this cake and we'll make it for all your babies.